Hey everyone and welcome to a dog powered fun video. This is the first video in my series Line Making 101 and we're going to talk about the different supplies and tools needed to make your own mushing lines. So we're going to start off with fids. Fids usually come in a three pack. We've got half inch, three eighths and a quarter inch. Uh, these are plastic, they come in metal and the one thing you want to look for when you're looking for fids is you want a pointy end. It will save you some frustrating moments. Next, rope. Um, I get my rope from a local mushing supply store. It's a polyethylene hollow braid rope. Uh, there's many sizes, but the three standard are probably half inch, three eighths, and a quarter inch. Uh, all my lines are either made out of the three eighths or the one quarter inch, uh, the half inch, I haven't used for uh, anything. It's heavy and it's a little bit of uh, overkill. Next, hog ring pliers and I use 3 8 inch hog rings and that's for uh, when we get to the bungee stage of our lines. Electrical tape, lighter, now, some people have had success with a blow dryer and uh, because this is probably, you know, the one spot where if you're going to mess up your lines, they will be using the lighter because the last thing you want to do is melt your line after you get it done. I've been there, done that. Next, some form of measuring tape, shrink tube. What we're after is I use either 18 millimeter or 20 millimeter, depending on the size of the rope. Um, this is uh, will shrink uh, half its size or half its diameter. You're looking for ones that do not have the glue inside. Then we have our bungees. I use two different sizes. I got five sixteenths or three eighths and one quality in a bungee that you're after is stiffness. You want to be stiff to pull. And then we have our snaps. Common size snap is three eighths and a quarter inch and another option out there is toggles. So now that we've taken a look at the supplies and tools needed, we're going to get started making our own lines. 